last the last question on this test is number 39 and this question is actually pretty involved there's a lot of uh, different ways to do a question like this um, and I'm going to take you through some of them so they have a system of equations y equals negative x squared minus 4x plus 12 and y equals negative 2x plus 4 and the idea with the system of equations is that there are a lot of pairs of numbers that make this bottom equation true and there are also pairs of numbers that make this top equation too they want to see if there are any pairs like an x and a y that would um, satisfy both equations at the same time um, and I'll show you I guess the easiest way to do a question like this um, to, to graph these two things would just be to, to make a chart so for the for the function uh, y equals 2x negative 2x plus 4 whoops we could do um, a chart that would have x and negative 2x plus 4 imagine I were to do this for the 11 values from uh, minus 5 to positive 5 let's see what happens minus 5 times minus 2 is 10 plus 4 is 14 minus 4 times minus 2 is 8 plus 4 is 12 minus 3 times minus 2 is 6 plus 4 is 10 and this is actually going to continue it's going to go down to 8 6 4 2 0 negative 2 negative 4 negative 6 and if I if I graph all these points I'm gonna get something that looks like this here's some of the points you could graph this with the y equals mx plus b form where where um, 4 is the y-intercept and then the slope is um, slope is negative 2 so right 1 down 2 anyway when you connect the dots you get this which is y equals negative 2x plus 4 so the chart method definitely works now I also would need to make a chart for what happens on the other equation where I have x and negative x squared minus 4x plus 12. And if I do it for the same 11 values, now this starts getting kind of complicated. You could use your, your graphing calculator to create this table. I'll show you how. So the way you do this is you would push y equals and put in the function which is negative x squared minus 4x plus 12 and then to, uh, to we could we can make a table you just push um, second and graph makes a table and if we go back here to negative 5 we could actually see the numbers here 7, 12, 15, 16, 15. Let me go ahead and put those into my, uh, if you push the down arrow, you can see the rest of them. 7, 12, 15, 16, 15, 12, 7. Anyway, I'm going to write those down. Now, already I can see just by looking at these two charts that uh, minus 4, 12 is part of both solution sets and also 2, 0 as part of both solution sets. Well, I'm going to gra that they, they, they want to see, uh, they want it to be solved graphically, so I have to show that I can graph the parabola. So here's a minus 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's a um, minus 2, 16. Here's minus 1, 15 and minus 315 here is um, 0 012 and also minus 412 here's that here's that point that's on 
it's on both. Um, if I go over one and down one, two, three, four, five, I get another point. Over one and down one, two, three, four, five, I get another. And if I connect these points, we get our parabola. Now there are other ways to, to graph a parabola by finding the axis of symmetry and the vertex. The problem with those methods is that those wouldn't get us all these points we need to solve this thing uh, graphically. And those are the two answers to this question. I'm also going to show you how, going back to the graphing calculator, we could verify our answers to this question. So if in Y2 I do minus, and you got to do this negative sign, not this minus, but minus 2x plus 4. And then if I just graph, I like to do graph by saying zoom and then saying 6. Makes a nice 10 by 10 graph. Now, you could see one intersection point, but we, we lose this other intersection point. So I'm going to make my window, um, I'll make it go from minus 15 to positive 15 on the both, both the x and the y. And now I should be able to see all my intersections. Graph that. Now we can see these two intersection points. Actually calculating the intersection points is possible. You push uh, seconds and trace, which is calculate, and choice five is intersect. And they're asking about my curves. Now if you push left and right with the arrows, it moves along a curve. But if you push up and down, it switches between the curves. And if there's three curves, it switches between the three. So first curve will be the parabola. Second curve, it, it switches already to another curve. So that's my other curve. Hit enter. And it says guess. To do this, you use the left arrow to move near the intersection. And you hit enter. And it tells you our one intersection is uh, 2 comma 0. If I go again, second calc intersect. I hit enter twice to select the two curves. But now when it says guess, I'm going to move over to this other intersection point, hit enter, and it tells me negative 4, uh, 12. So we can do it that way also. Uh, just as a side note, the easiest way to do this question is actually not to use the graphical approach. It's to solve it with algebra. So I'm going to show you how you would solve this question using algebra also. Hold on. Now they could have just as well asked this question to solve algebraically. Uh, the way you solve algebraically is you substitute this y for this entire expression. So we get negative x squared minus 4x plus 12 equals negative 2x plus 4. Now I'm going to move everything over to the right-hand side. So if I add x squared to both sides and 4x and subtract 12, I will get 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus 8. Now this can be factored. Uh, two numbers have to multiply to give me negative 8 and add to give me 2. That's plus 4 and minus 2. And if two things multiply to give you 0, that can only happen if one of them equals 0. So if x equals 2 or if x equals negative 4, which are the same answers you get graphically. Algebraic approach is real important to know. Well, that ends the uh, tutorials for the uh, integrated algebra regions that was given uh, Friday, June 18th, 2010. I hope you liked it. My advice to you is to do uh, as many practice algebra regions as you can. Um, if you want to rewatch this tutorial, I'd recommend doing the questions and just making sure that you're, you're following along. This test is actually not that easy of a test to, to get a, a hundred on. And um, there's definitely a lot of concepts in here that, uh, that you have to know. But I hope that just through this tutorial, you'll be able to uh, at least pass the test and um, 
next year you can do the geometry one which I'll have tutorial up for soon and also year after that you'll do algebra 2 so keep watching my videos and uh, tell your friends and uh, I hope you learn from these